being right here for all of us will open many, many... At the same time, I am the director of the German Research Foundation. Uh, the German Research Foundation is the coordinating agency of the German House for Research and Innovation. Please allow me to introduce here today on the dais, of course, uh, the ambassador of Germany to India, His Excellency Michael Steiner. Uh, then I would like to intro introduce to you uh, the host of this uh, very August uh, gathering and event, which is Mr. Uh, Safir Javid, the Honorary Secretary of the Education Society, uh, Sultan Kulkulum. And last but not the least, I, don't, I think I don't. Uh, we have seen um, this morning a school. Uh, a KB school where thousand students are learning German innovation um, uh, which uh, coming from uh, from Delhi here uh, on its tour uh, of excellence um, and we will talk surely about that um, but it's also a first for me first time that I am in Hyderabad and I think it couldn't be a, a better occasion um, I'm also very grateful that we could, and there had been some bureaucratic uh, discussions before, I must tell you, that we could bring one of Markus Heinsdorf's uh, beautiful uh, gemstones uh, pavillons here to Hyderabad. Uh, this pavillon here um, has seen more than half a million of visitors in five melas last year all over the country um, and it was uh, one of the visual highlights of the Mela we had during the year of Germany here in India. Now uh, this pavilion will be uh, for eight days home uh, to Inter-German Science Corporation at its best. And I think that Hyderabad well, was well chosen <coughs> Cyberabad stands for excellent universities and high tech, everybody uh, knows that, of course. Now, Indo German uh, Science Corporation is the defining pillar of our bi bilateral relationship. Uh, India and Germany are both hubs of knowledge. Language, higher education, and learning. That is the currency of the globalized world. It offers career opportunities, it offers opportunities to travel, and it offers the opportunity to exchange knowledge and ideas. We want to bring together the young, bright minds of both our countries. You might be aware that we had Indo-German intergovernmental consultations on the 11th of April in Berlin between Chancellor Merkel and Prime Minister Singh with a number of ministers on each side. And in fact, my impression from this very intensive meeting in Berlin was that Science was at the center uh, uh, of uh, these talks. Um, science and education. 10 out of 16, 10 out of 16 signed MOUs and declarations were on science and education. And let me tell you, we made, for example, quite an impressive progress on specifically two areas. One is the promotion of German as a foreign language in India. We signed a text which has as its substance the increase of the status of German language teachers, Indian German language teachers, at universities, uh, boosting by that uh, our program, German in Thousand Schools. And let me tell you, this program is so successful 
that we don't have a problem on the demand side. We have so many students who want to learn German. Our problem is rather to have enough teachers. And in order to have enough teachers um, for such a vast program, um, all the 1,090 KV schools will introduce over the year. We have already three, more than 300 to do it. Um, um, you need, of course, the teachers to do that, and the teachers must have um, a better opportunity of having this kind of an exposure to Hyderabadis, and we would love to play host to the event here. I'm glad and honored, privileged, Mr. Ambassador Sa, that uh, you have chosen to come to us, and uh, there's enormous potential for uh, exchange program for. Uh, sharing of uh, research work between uh, India and Germany, which has also been substantiated by the recent visit of Prime Minister Manmohan Singh Ji to Berlin. And they have signed several very important uh, agreements on academic exchange and research. As must, uh, Professor Mehta mentioned, Mr. Pallam Raju, the Minister of HRD, also accompanied uh, Mr. Singh. And that goes to prove that India is attaching a great deal of importance to exchange and research work between in areas of higher education especially. And I'm sure that this event here, the eight-day event, would be an excellent opportunity to showcase the opportunities and explore. I urge the student community, the researchers, the research scholars stationed in Hyderabad to take the Best, to make the best of this opportunity available to them to visit the exhibition and to see for themselves the enormous potential which uh, this pact between India and Germany have in the future. I once again thank all my friends from the press for having so well reciprocated to our invitation to come here this evening. And I'm sure that you would uh, give equal coverage in your columns tomorrow because that will really help the student community to understand what between India and Germany. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for your statement. We would like to allow or give the floor to you now um, to ask questions uh, to the dignitaries on the dais. Please, the floor is yours.